Today, a judge denied a request by attorneys to vacate the conviction for a dead woman. She was convicted last month in a DUI crash that killed a toddler who was on a bicycle ride with her family. The little girl's father was left with life-altering brain injuries. But the case took a turn when Shauna Wallace died just days before she was supposed to be sentenced. Mark Lehman takes us inside today's hearing. The defense arguing that proper procedure wasn't followed when Shona Wallace was adjudicated guilty last month following her death. Well, the judge today quickly issued a ruling on that motion and for the victim's family, it was another painful reminder about what happened. During today's hearing, the defense claimed the court didn't have jurisdiction to issue an order adjudicating Shona Wallace guilty in April. Judge, at this time, we would be moving to vacate the order adjudicating uh, Ms. Wallace guilty. Wallace's attorney saying a defendant has a right to be present, but that wasn't possible due to her passing. Wallace was convicted by a jury in March on DUI manslaughter, but died last month after being hospitalized before she could be sentenced. Today, the judge quickly sided with the state who argued jurisdiction remained with the court. I will reaffirm the adjudication of guilt. Outside the courthouse, there was frustration. I think that enough is enough. Shannon Ziza's one-year-old daughter Adeline was killed and her husband suffered a traumatic brain injury in 2019. Investigators say Wallace was driving high on fentanyl and ran off the road onto a sidewalk. Now to have to come back to court today, what does that do for your family? This is just dragging out the, you know, the ability to heal and to, to finally put this chapter behind behind me. Ziza says a motion like this hinders her ability to move forward. She says she's thankful for the judge's decision and is continuing to focus on her nonprofit, Acts for Adeline, which helps mothers cope with the loss of a child. That is where our focus should be, is how do we help people heal? And I will spend the rest of my life honoring Adeline's life by helping other people heal. In Seminole County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.